Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on MDT videos. So today is all about updating your Windows ADK to 1809 within your SCCM 1806 server, right? So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go into this particular website. I will provide the link for you guys at the description. If not, bother me at the comment section and because uh, sometimes I forget and I will give you guys the link. So once you get to the web page, you need to download two files for your Windows ADK 1809. Uh, you need to download this one first and then the second one will be your Windows PE. Okay, so click on it. It's going to download the exe file and then do the second one and then there you go. Then we need to get inside your downloads folder and uh, we need to start the installation. Now, before you start the installation, your SCCM server already has ADK. So what we need to do is, you know, I minimize the downloads folder, I right click on the start menu and went to control panel. Within control panel, I went to programs and features and I located my Windows ADK. Now the one that I already had within my SCCM server was build 17134. So what we need to do is highlight it and uninstall it. You can get the nice little wizard and hit yes for this and it's going to uninstall it. Now it's pretty weird that you would think you double click on the exe file, it will locate whatever ADK stuff you have, uninstall it for you, then install the one that you want, but that's not the case. You have to remove the ADK manually and once it's completely removed, go inside your downloads folder, locate the ADK, set up file and then install it. So once it's completed, you're gonna get this and you're done. Now go back inside the downloads folder, right click on your ADK setup.exe file, run it as an administrator. It's gonna load it up. I'm gonna leave it as the default, click next. Uh, I like to hit no here, click next, accept the license and terms. And uh, I left everything as the default and click install process takes between five to 10 minutes. And once it's completed, you're going to get this and then close. Now you go back inside programs and features and you're going to see your Windows ADK for Windows 10. And the build is 177631. Now we need to get back inside our downloads folder because we need to install the WinPE stuff. So locate it, highlight it, right click, run it as an administrator. It's going to load up, leave it as a default, click next. Hit no here, click next, accept the license and terms, and you only have one feature to install and then click install, and the process will continue. And it's done. Click close. And then, right, what I like to do before you even do the ADK stuff, before you remove the ADK, your old one, and then install the new one, close down your SCCM console, just close it. Uh, what I like to do is once the ADK is successfully installed or upgraded or whatever you want to call it, launch your SCCM console. And from here, we want to go inside software library, overview, operating systems, boot images, and then locate one of your boot images. Now I'm going to update one of my boot images and the one that I'm going to update is the 64 boot image. So we're going to right click on it and pick update distribution point. And then what we want to do is check off, reload this boot image with the current Windows PE version from the Windows ADK. And then we're going to click on next, next. It's going to start reloading the boot image using the current Windows PE from the ADK. Now it's the ADK from 1809. So once it's done, you're gonna get green check marks. That's a good thing, close it. And the way that you know it worked is that if you look at the OS version, you're going to see 17763.1. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.